Gladiator Body Day 10, how to build a positive mindset. I hope you're having a great day as usual. Let's get straight into it. Now, part of the Gladiator Body, we're going to do some crazy stuff. Not really too crazy, but basic, basic and intense. So, of course, the warm up is going to be 500 jumping jacks like we did the last time. We're not going to do a thousand, though, just to break it to you. We're just going to warm up with the 500 jumping jacks. As I said, when you keep things basic and long and just got to exert your willpower onto these basic exercises, this really helps to strengthen your mind. Then right after that, we're going to do 10 minutes of a basic exercise, which is clean and press with the 10 pound dumbbells. And you're just going to rep it out for 10 minutes straight. Now. When it comes to building a positive mind, a lot of you guys like the way I'm positive, how I built this positivity, how am I able to like just be this way? A lot of it is during these moments of sheer pain. When it comes to building a positive mindset, it means nothing to be positive when everything is going according to plan, things are going great, everything is sunshine and rainbows. It's easy to be positive. The way I'm able to to just speak this way, to give you this knowledge, this wisdom, everything that I have. It was my ability to speak to myself in a positive manner when I'm just pushing myself to the ringer. During an exercise like this, clean and press with 10 pound dumbbells for 10 minutes straight, just going back and forth, up, down, up, down, clean, press, clean, press, to keep that momentum for 10 minutes straight. It burns. It burns. My body is just burning. Everything was burning. My forearms, my shoulders, my traps. I mean, even at one point, my legs. My legs were already burnt from the 500 jumping jacks. So after that, just doing 10 minutes, just up and down, up and down with these 10-pound dumbbells, it sucks. It sucks. But when I'm doing it and I'm feeling the burn, I'm not telling myself, oh, this sucks. All my shoulders are burning. Of course, I recognize it really quick then i say words of positive affirmation i just say i got this i'm the best of the best the legendary chess can terry nothing can stop me and i go up boom down up boom boom i try to keep that rhythm and like i said continuously even though everything is burning i'm doing my best to repeat positive affirmations lines of positivity lines of strength lines of motivation just to keep myself in the game i'm not trying to wander off and like think about paradise or some like magical moment in my life no i'm doing my best to stay present to the pain but using positivity to cope with the pain and not just cope with it but to over overcome it and enjoy it and just turn that pain into personal power this is what it takes to build a positive mindset so when you're doing this, don't just think, okay, just one more rep, one more rep. Do your best to really hype yourself up, really get that crazy motivational, inspirational voice in your head and just get through it. Right after those 10 minutes, we're going to do three, three 10 minute rounds of punching a punching bag, heavy bag. If you do not have access to a punching bag or to a heavy bag, you're going to do three 10 minute rounds of shadow boxing. Now, after all of that, the jumping jacks, the clean and press, those clean and presses really took me out because for 10 minutes straight, I just like gunned it. I didn't stop. The jumping jacks, same thing. I didn't stop. Right about 300. After that, like I didn't try to pace it. I just tried to finish that last 200 jumping jacks as fast as I possibly could. Same thing with the clean and presses. I didn't just like wait to get to a moment where... I could just gun it. I tried to keep that pace the entire 10 minutes nonstop. And like everything is burning. Everything is burning. My calves just to like bounce on my feet like this, trying to get my footing while trying to hit this punching bag. I mean, it's extremely hard because my calves are like burning. They were burning. Then, you know, just trying to keep myself stable. As you can see, when I was doing the clean and presses, I was getting a little rock, a little momentum to get the weight up. Just doing all of that after the 500 jumping jacks really just puts a strain on the entire body. This is the last round right there. Like I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I hate to say like today was one of those days where I had to dig deep. Yes, the negativity came upon me, but 
I did my best. Not even did my best. Like, I just stayed positive. During this last round, I really did my best to just keep everything sharp, keep those hands flying. And like I said, to gain that positive mindset, you got to put yourself through the ringer. And right when that pain kicks in, that's when you build it up. Like I said, it makes no sense. You're never going to gain a positive mindset when everything is always sunshine and rainbows. You got to get yourself to that point where you're fatigued, you're blown out, you're gasping for air, everything is burning. Then, then, by conscious choice, you decide to just be positive. Speak words of affirmation, positive affirmation in your head. Speak words of positive strength in your head. This is where it gets built. Then, when all of this is done, and you just go on about your life, like, it's easy. Like, somebody could just, like, kick me in the leg. I'm kind of just numb to it. I can kind of just look at them and just blow it off. Just be like, bro, you didn't even know what you're doing. You you probably had a bad day, so that's why you're doing that. And, you know, it is what it is. Like, I can just brush it off. Because I've done so much during the day, just killing myself and doing my best to be positive through it all that nothing really bothers me. No, if people irritate you in your life, this is the secret, dude. You almost have too much energy. If you're constantly working out, dieting, like just doing your best to push yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, you won't have any time to really just get annoyed or even like trip out on anybody. Like, you know, when my day is done with all the workouts and stuff, I'm just in this place where I'm kind of like in this peaceful zone. And, you know, when things come my way, I'm so exhausted the only thing I can do really is just meet it with positivity. I was already killing myself and like pushing myself to the ringer and doing my best to stay positive. So anything that comes outside of that, it's it's minor. And I kind of just brush it off. There are days when I still get irritated and I just remember my training. It's like, you know, I've done so much to put myself in this position physically, mentally, spiritually. Why mess it up, you know? <laughs> so... After that, to end it all, we are going to do 300 crunches. After I just was punching the punching bag, I just got straight on the ground, got straight to it. As I said the last time we did the crunches, do your best to keep the tension on your abs. After about 50 reps, I feel it and I just like pump it out. Now, as you notice, I was punching the bag. If you don't have a punching bag, I have a link in the description to the bag that I'm hitting on how I made it. Really simple. It's about 45, 50 pounds around there. It's a very simple, easy punching bag to make with all homemade stuff. Things you can find around your house. Now, the gloves that I were using were leather mechanic gloves. You can get them from Walmart. I got them for like $15. The wrap that I'm using is one of those pre-made gel hand wraps. It's like a glove, like a bicycle glove. You kind of just put it on and got like that extra wrapping for wrist support so i wrap it around and i lock the velcro down with painter's tape that blue painter's tape as you can see it's blue around my wrist i like the painter's tape because like i said i I was sweating dude i was drenched in sweat and it's made to like withstand that type of ordeals water paint just getting soggy it doesn't do that it's very water resistant so that's why i like the blue tape and it doesn't stick it's like a non-stick it doesn't leave any crazy residue on my wrappings so that's why i like to use it get you some blue tape get you you can get those gel wraps from walmart and those leather mechanic gloves i like to use that because it helps the really thin padding with the thin gel knuckle wraps really help to build up my knuckle strength my wrist strength so when i'm hitting that punching bag it really helps to just build up that bare knuckle iron fist and there we go that's gladiator body day nine building that positive mindset hope you enjoy it and always remember train hard and be kind